Hi, in this video, we are going to work out this improper integral. So we have the improper integral from negative infinity to negative one of x times e to the negative x squared, all with respect to x. To do this problem, we're going to make a substitution. And I'm thinking maybe first, let's work out the indefinite integral and then go back and apply the limits and work out the improper integral. That might be easier. So solution. So first, we're going to focus on the improper on the indefinite integral of x e to the negative x squared dx. So to do this, we're just going to make a simple substitution. It's pretty easy. We'll let u be equal to negative x squared. That's this piece here. And then du will simply be negative 2x dx. So all we did here was took the derivative of both sides using differential notation, right? The derivative of u is 1, so you just write the du. Here you bring down the 2, subtract 1 from the exponent, so you get negative 2x, and then you put down the dx. All right, so we're trying to make a substitution. You'll notice here that we have minus 2x dx, and here we have x dx. So the goal here is to make this look like what's in our integrand over here. You'll notice that this has a minus 2 and this doesn't. So what we can do is we can divide both sides by negative 2. And when we do that, we're essentially making this look like this, right? So this will be negative 1 half du. I'm writing it that way because I know that later I'm going to pull out the minus 1 half. So that's just because I have some foresight. And the more you do these problems, the more you realize that whenever you have something like this, this is a good idea. And this is x dx. Okay, so x dx is negative 1 half du. So this is negative 1 half. And then du. So all we've done so far is replace the x dx. We're left with e to the negative x squared. Well, negative x squared is u. So this is going to be e to the u. The integral of e to the u is e to the u. So when you integrate this, you get negative 1 half e to the u plus c. Well, what is u? u is negative x squared. So this is equal to negative 1 half e to the negative x squared plus c. So now we're in a good position. This is the answer to the indefinite integral. So let's revisit our original problem, which is the improper integral from negative infinity to negative 1 of x e to the negative x squared dx. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity of a negative infinity from b to negative 1, right? Because it's a negative infinity, so we replace it with b, and we let b approach that. And here we have x e to the negative x squared dx. All right, now we're going to go ahead and integrate this. We know the answer, so this is equal to the limit as b approaches negative infinity. Integrating this, we're going to get negative 1 half e to the negative x squared. You don't have to worry about, about the plus c, okay? Because what happens is uh, when you, when you um, apply this here, you're going to plug in the negative 1 and subtract, and then plug in the b. When you subtract, the c's will cancel. So whenever you have a definite integral, you don't have to write the plus c because the c's will cancel during the subtraction process uh, of evaluating the definite integral. Here, this says we first plug in the negative 1. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches negative infinity. Plugging in the negative 1, we have negative 1 half e to the negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1, and we already have a negative. That's how we get the negative here. Minus, it's already a minus, it's going to become a plus 1 half e to the negative b squared. Because okay, it's minus and minus, so it's plus. All right, this here is going to approach zero, okay? Because this is really this. And so as b approaches infinity, this approaches zero as b approaches infinity. Because the denominator here grows without bound. So this fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It gets closer and closer to zero as b approaches infinity. So this is equal to negative 1 half times e to the negative 1 plus zero, which is negative 1 over 2e. And that would be the answer to the problem. And then we would also say that in this case, the integral actually converges. So that would be the answer. So hopefully you have learned some math in this video. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check out my courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place for math courses. But use my links because I've lowered the prices and it helps me greatly if you use my links. They're in the description of this video or on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Also, if you're into, you know, rare math books, check out my eBay store. Link in the description. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.